If you are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, I have the place for you. Head on over to EasyMuttCoin.com where you can purchase coins for as little as $45 a mil. I did not stutter. Link is in the description. Use code GS for 5% off. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Madden 21 video. It's your boy GS, and hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're going to bring you guys a defensive concept that I've yet to see anybody run, and I think it could be very 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 useful it is something that can actually be game changing and really dominate the game and take advantage of our abilities and also be able to just dictate what the offense can and cannot do so right now we're going to go on ahead and show you guys the defensive abilities that i've had recently just trying some stuff and i think we uh got ourselves a nice little uh, set up here that can actually just not only be annoying but to be very 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 aggressive cause great pressure <clears throat> and like i said it can dictate a lot of what the offense can and cannot do so one thing you will uh notice is that we'll be running the 335 odd blitz now this is a blitz that has been out for quite some time if you guys are a Twitch subscriber then you guys have gotten this blitz from me a while ago and um it, i'm sure if you played enough madden you face it where the guy kind of loops around the edge comes around and it's very annoying <clears throat> yes there are a lot of different ways to stop it but that doesn't you know that doesn't mean that it's still annoying to deal with it yes there are several ways you can stop it but it still has to, uh, you know, be addressed. You can't just come out there and just hike the ball with no adjustments and hope that it gets picked up. The guy's going to loop around and he's going to, you know, sack you and it's going to be very, 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 very frustrating. So <clears throat> what it is, I, uh, you know, wanted to think about how can we make this even better, right? It's definitely a play in the game that has been done to me for so long. And then it's kind of like a... You know what? I'm tired of dealing with it. So not only uh, am I, you know, forced to deal with it, it's like I'm gonna start doing it to other people. You know, because this blitz is very, 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 very annoying. So I run it out of the Miami Dolphins playbook. And if you guys don't know, it's just very simple. All you need is a linebacker under 80 agility. There are some pretty fast guys out there. I think the more common guy is Montez Sweat. Um, but not fully powered up because again, he cannot have over 80 agility. Now this guy, Montez Sweat has 96 speed, but his agility does surpass 81. I mean, 80. So he doesn't loop around for free on the edge. Whereas, uh, his 88 version does, you're able to get that. And he has 91 speed and he's able to come around the edge pretty fast. I'm starting to see more and more people also use Bud Dupree. He has a free agent variant, and he has 93 speed, which is pretty fast. But I think this guy right here is the game changer. This is going to be the person that is going to dominate the 3-3-5 odd blitz. And there's a reason for that, and it's because he is a run-stopping archetype. AJ Klein is able to get 89 speed. Now, previously... I had Bud Dupree. Now, Bud Dupree is very, very, very fast, right? He's able to come off, loop around, and if they don't adjust correctly to pick him up, he's able to come in instantly. So we are losing four speed on that. But A.J. Klein is a run-stopping archetype, meaning he is able to get an ability that Montez Sweat, that uh, Kenny Young, that Bud Dupree or any other guys that you choose to use, cannot get. And that is the deflator ability. This right here is what makes this absolutely game-changing. Now, you take a look at the description, more ball carrier fatigue on non-conservative tackles, meaning every hit stick that he lands, the opposing player immediately goes to red. Full red, tired, gasping, extremely tired and they're pretty much done you got to take them out the the um the next play or so because they're just extremely fatigued a lot of people put the flaters on their users or they put them on the outside with enforcer they double stack it but you might be asking well how does this help us on the 335 odd blitz because it has to be a hit stick and that right there is going to bring them into the red 
And the computer's never going to hit stick the quarterback. But he will light up on pretty much any tackle. Now, if he gets to the quarterback and he gets a sack, or even if they throw the ball away, or even if he gets to the quarterback in general, he will light up and he will turn the quarterback to a yellow state. He will not be red, but he will turn to a yellow state. State Now, that changes a lot of things. It makes you very slow when you want to roll out the pocket the next play. It actually affects your throwing ability. You're not able to throw as far. You're not able to throw as fast. You're not able to get that zip on the ball because you're tired. And if he gets to the quarterback, he is going to absolutely change the next few plays because their quarterback is tired. They're not going to be able to be full speed. They're not going to be able to throw the ball regular. And this is why this guy right here for this blitz is absolutely insane. So the other thing I started to mess with was, okay, what if they pick him up, right? You can double team him. You can block your running back. There's several ways to pick him up, but we still want pressure. Him getting to the quarterback is the ultimate, ultimate goal, right? Because with the Flader, again, even if they throw the ball away, he's going to get to the quarterback and he's going to make them tired. So the one thing I did is I put on the opposite end of the 3-3-5 odd is Montez Sweat with double or nothing. Now, a lot of people with the new AP update, they're able to have edge protectors out there. And edge protectors is the um, negate factor for edge threat but not double or nothing. Double or nothing does a very, very good, consistent job of shedding on the opposite side. Meaning when they double team Klein or they shift their running back over and they block their running back and they do all the setups that you have to do to stop Klein, for the most part, Montez Sweat is going to be left one-on-one -on -one and he's going to be able to activate with double or nothing and he's going to create havoc on the opposite side. And that right there is very good for getting opposite end pressure of, of aside from AJ Klein. So I also have a few double or nothings. Again, I've been testing out different variants of do I want to run man with it? Do I want to run zone? I'm just testing some things out. Like right here, you see I have five AP on Mills. I have Acrobat, Lurker, and mid zone. I have uh, Lurker, I mean, excuse me, mid zone and Acrobat on Slay and mid zone on... Um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on, uh, uh, yeah, my guy right here, Wilson, excuse me. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> and again, we have the flater on Klein. So, uh, again, I'm just messing things. I think man is the better variation of it just because everyone is covered. And if you set up the defense correctly, you're going to be able to take away deep outside throws. And you also have your looper with the flater coming around and you also have the ability to, to um you know mix coverages in and stuff like that so um this right here was taken earlier today before we jump into a game so i can show you guys real quick uh this was taken earlier today when i was doing house rules and i just want to show you the effect that you know the defense can have and again what i've been starting to do is i've been putting Dion jones on the d line close to the looper because the looper can come in only sending one right again this blitz has been in the game for quite some time and I think adding the flater really takes it to the absolute next level and it just makes it uh so much more scarier to deal with so I'm in house rules right here and uh you can only pick a play once you have a cool down so I gotta pick a bunch of different zones because my plays are cooled down right here but we're gonna go on ahead and take a look right here and you see this right here I'm gonna try and stop it when uh we get the defensive setup right here so this is how I have it set up right here i have a i have my cloud flat sent to 25 so that cloud flat to the right is going to play super deep to the sideline same as the left i have my purples set to uh five yards so we have uh Deion jones underneath playing a very short flat he's going to be there for anything short underneath and i have my hook zone set to 10 now ordinarily i like to double mabel the right side and like a cover three i'll go on ahead and um that flat on the far right he would go on ahead and he would be in a purple and then i mean he'll be in a that same flat no excuse me the safety would be in a flat up top right he would be in the flat and then uh to the right would be the purple and I'll have like a Mabel over there on the right. And then Deion Jones right next to the um, the looper. I like to put him in a hook zone or, you know, I change it up. I can man him up. I can. The thing with him is that he has 98 speed. He has almost 99 zone. He's very good in zone, very fast. 
I can man them up. I can put them in any type of zone, whatever it is I want, and we're still sending three. And also note that he has um, edge protector on both of his guards on the outside. Well, his tackles, excuse me, on the outside. And we use it right up the middle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hike the ball. We're going to see that our looper, Klein, is able to come in and notice his star will light up. He is going to light up. He is going to activate. And after that sack, he is going to then be yellow. He's going to no huddle. And just take a look at the next play. He has Gunslinger, but his Gunslinger like doesn't even register. He gets a very slow pass. And I've noticed this myself, is that whenever my quarterback is yellow or gassed, your throws just aren't the same. You can't really throw the ball as if you were fully healthy because you just lose a little bit of that oomph, you know, a little bit of that zing to it. It's just not the same when your quarterback is tired. So we're going to go on ahead and play it. And we come around and we loop and notice how he lights up just like that. And he got deflated. Now, whenever the deflator comes around and uh, does not hit stick, it still will light up and it puts you in a yellow state. So after this play, his quarterback is dark yellow. He's almost, uh, almost completely gassed at that point. He comes around, we loop around, and we get gassed. And notice on the opposite end, I make sure I re-blitz. Because, you know, you got to contain to get the blitz to come in. And I re I make sure I re-blitz sweat on the right side. So that right there is going to be my pressure coming from the opposite end. We're going to go on a hike. Now sweat is double teamed, but our looper comes around. And then he knows huddles. And we're going to go on ahead and call the exact same play. And I think I put Deion Jones in a hook zone this time. Or maybe, yeah, I put him in a hook zone instead. I change it up. Now, notice that the looper is uh, picked up this time. But look at Sweat on the right side against an edge protector. He lights up immediately. And he got an insta shed, right? We take a look. He lit up. And he throws him to the side, and he sheds immediately. Now, that right there is key because, again, you have to worry about the looper on the left side, and then I have pressure coming from the right side. More often than not, you know, the double or nothing isn't going to come um, light up every single time, but definitely more often than not, 60 to 70% of the time, he's going to go on ahead and he's going to shed at some point. So we have ourselves an insta-shed. Right, we take a look at our coverage. I have Deion Jones in a hook zone right there. I'm in a hook zone as well. Pretty much everything is covered except the right flat, and that would have been taken care of if I wasn't forced to call a different play right here. But um, just take a look at his pass right here. You can tell by his pass on just how kind of slow it like that is not a gunslinger pass. Look at that ball right there. We easily come down. We picked that pass off. If I was not there, you see mid zone and lurker. I mean, I wouldn't have even had to jump that. He would have been all over. It's not the best pass, but I just want you to look at the velocity of the pass. If you play this game long enough, you will realize that is not a gunslinger throw. It kind of just took a little bit to get there. It wasn't a straight beeline. It was a very slow and sluggish pass right there. And that is because he got uh, deflated on the play before. So that's going to... Uh, affect his speed on rolling out and his passes so we're going to jump into a game and i'm going to give you the offensive view and i'm going to show you guys exactly what happens when you go on ahead and get sacked by a deflator all right so we're going to go on ahead and we're going to set it up on how we would on uh defense here and we are going to uh show you guys on again our point of view exactly how it's going to look whenever the deflator is actually able to come around and get himself a sack here. So we're going to go on ahead and hike the ball. There goes our deflator. He comes around. He lights up. And he gets a sack. So right there, you see he lights up. And let's take a look at our quarterback. And look at him. He is now actually dark red because he got deflated. Look how game-changing that is. Who thought about sending a blitz with a deflator? It is absolutely game-changing if you're able to go on ahead and get yourself a sack. It, it just changes everything about the drive because, again, he can no longer utilize his speed if he's fast. He can't really roll out and is going to affect his throws, which is even more important. So, again, we're going to go on ahead and we're going to set up the same defense. Okay. Let's 
tough doing this with two controllers. <laughs> I got to remember exactly what to do here, especially since I'm on Wi-Fi on the defense side of the ball. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead. We're going to hike the ball. And you see our up. Oh, no, I must have messed up some adjustment there. Let's actually throw this ball away and we'll set it up here. The adjustments are taking forever because I got two Xboxes right next to me where I'm doing this. And unfortunately, the other Xbox is on um, it's on Wi-Fi. So it's taking quite a bit. All right. Right here, we're running the zone. And it's crazy because you don't see it on the Elgato screen. But on the other side, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so slow. Oh, my Lord. This is awful. Okay, and we should be good here. All right, he's going to loop around. And we also got an Insta Shed from Montez Sweat, just like there, right there, too. So let's actually clip the last 30 seconds. And again, let's take a look at our quarterback now. He just got deflated, and he's now red. <laughs> I always thought it was, this is actually my first time actually looking at it. I always thought that he would actually end up being uh, yellow, but it turns out he's actually red. This is game changing. If you're able to neutralize the quarterback and get him to be at a you know yellow to red state over and over and over again, that is just going to create a lot of havoc because again, that's something that your quarterback has to deal with, you know, on his throws, on his next plays. It just it changes a lot. We're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna do it again and show you guys one more time. And again, you can go on ahead and mix it up. Uh, you can go on ahead and, you know, do man, do zone, cross man. A lot of different things you could go on ahead and, uh, you know, choose to do with the defense. But we're just giving you the idea of the blitz with a deflator. And I really feel like having Klein out there with deflator will absolutely alone, if he gets to the quarterback, will win you games by himself. Even if he throws the ball away, as long as he gets hit, he is going to be deflated. It's going to register as a deflation, and he is just going to be absolutely gassed. And that right there just changes so much for the remainder of the drive if you're able to actually, you know, get a hand on him. So, again, we're going to come out the same, uh, same thing. Okay, we're going to go on ahead, hike the ball, and uh, I feel like I'm messing. But you see Montez Sweat on the opposite side came in. All right, let's take a look. You see Montez Sweat actually got to the quarterback, right? And he's a little tired, right? You can see just because he got hit by Montez Sweat. But look at now he's back to full health. Didn't take long whatsoever. He was able to go on ahead and just get right back to being good, just like that um, from Montez Sweat. Now let's take a look and see how he does. Getting hit with the deflation. Oh my lord. It's like I can't even check. Everything is just so slow. Yeah, we're messing some, some things up here. Alright, we're going to go on ahead and uh, run commit here. Again, every, <laughs> it's so slow on the, on the opposite side. Because of... Um, because I'm on uh, the Wi-Fi. All right, we're going to pick the first down up. We're going to go on ahead. We're going to get down. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to have a fresh uh, quarterback here. All right, let's do the same thing how we normally do. Okay, there we go. That time. Nope, never mind. As I said, that time there was no stutter. It messes up the adjustment so bad. Sheesh. Okay, I think we got it here. We hike the ball, we come around, he then gets deflated, and once again, we're going to take a look at him, and just like that, their opposing quarterback is now absolutely gassed and extremely, extremely, extremely tired. Now, let's go on ahead and let's just call a play, right? I'm going to just call a, a random play here on um, on defense, and, and we're not even going to, you know, set up the loop here, but let's... Set up a plan. Let's try and roll out here with uh, with our quarterback, Prescott, on red. Yeah, he's just extremely tired. Tries to throw the ball, and there's just no zip on it. And again, he is absolutely gassed. And I don't know about you guys, but how many people are prepared 
to have a dark red quarterback to be out there and they're going to have a backup to go on ahead and be able to, you know, be able to get the pass off. Again, it's big because it forces your, your you know, maybe they run the ball the next play if you get to them. You know, maybe it just changes a lot of the offense because oh, they're, now it's finally showing. Your, your, <laughs> that's been showing up on, on the opposite end uh, so much. All right. I'm trying to set everything up here. Oh, my Lord, this is awful. Sheesh, never play on Wi-Fi. Some people actually do play on Wi-Fi, which is crazy. And we have, like, gigabit internet. Our internet is, like, really, really, really good. All right. We're going to go on ahead. Hike the ball. Loops around. He gets to the quarterback. And once again, we are absolutely deflated and extremely, extremely, extremely tired. This is game-changing. This is something that nobody is doing. This is a defense that by itself can win you games because your quarterback, well, your opposite end, you know, the opposite quarterback is going to be tired. Yes, there is a lot of ways to pick it up. If you guys are subscribed on Twitch, I show you guys plenty of ways to go on ahead and and uh, pick it up as well. The many, many different ways you can go on ahead and pick it up. But again, even if it, get, even if it gets picked up, it's still a nuisance. It's still something that your opponent has to deal with. And also, if they pick it up, you still have your, um, on the opposite end, you still have your uh, double or nothing, you know, on the opposite side as well that they have to, you know, worry about as well. All right, let's try. Oh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> let's get it together now. Let's get it together. All right, we're going to hike the ball here. We loop around. We get deflated. Oh, my Lord. I just want to pick a passing play, uh, but the quarter is about to end, and he's about to get uh, he's about to get uh, full health here, I'm pretty sure. But we take a look, and again, the quarterback is red. The quarter ended, so he's, you know, he's healthy. So let's sack him again, and then we are going to just call a... Um, a passing play so you can take a look and i'm sure you guys have noticed i'm sure you guys have you know have tried to you know move the ball with the tired quarterback and they go on ahead around and they get um their passing is just nowhere near as good and it's because they're so you know super tired so again we have ourselves a red quarterback here we're going to attempt to pass the ball here as best as we can to see exactly you know what type of uh throw we can get so we're going to come and we're just going to call a man play right here. Okay. Yeah, look at that throw. Oh, my Lord. And that's a gunslinger bullet throw. That right there was a gunslinger bullet throw. That throw is disgusting. That throw right there looked like there was absolutely zero gunslinger there. Why did it look like it was zero gunslinger there? Because he was tired. And that right there is going to be such an amazing thing to have your defense, um, you know, not really have to worry about. Because if they try to move, I thought it was yellow. This is my first time actually seeing it. Okay, so he gets them into red. This is the uh, the first clip we're going to go on ahead and take a look at here. And this was, you know, we have the looper on the left. And we also have Montez Sweat who I believe insta it on the right side as well. And I'm not even putting Deion Jones in a zone, in a small hook zone, to cover the short area of the field or anything like that. So um, you see Montez Sweat right away, insta it right away. You know, he lit up, his double or nothing. So if you got all this attention on the looper, we have the opposite end coming away screaming just like that. Look at that. And he got deflated. And now I know. Now I know that it actually turns them all the way red. <laughs> it turns their quarter. Now it makes sense on why the throws I've been facing um, whenever I, you know, actually get to the quarterback with this defense have just been awful. I mean, take a look at this throw. And again, he does have guns. Look at that throw. Now you tell me, is that a gunslinger throw? Look at the velocity on that pass. Look at that. It, it just floats in the air. Because he's absolutely, positively gassed. That throw 
is nowhere near how Gunslinger should throw the ball. Now, you can tell the Gunslinger, he, he lights up. He actually does a very minimal windup. He gets rid of the ball super quickly, but just look how the ball just, it looks like he's passing a helium balloon. Look how it's just floating in the air. Look at that, boys. This right here might be absolutely game-changing for defense, boys and girls. No one else is running deflator 335 odd. It's game-changing. You get it out there. You go on ahead. You're going to cause havoc. You're going to force them to address it. Even if it gets picked up, there's plenty of times where I run it, and it just gets absolutely boxed. They know how to pick it up every single time. They make their adjustments. And then that's where I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Because if you face me, if you run it against me, I'm going to pick it up every single time as well. But then I thought about, okay, well, how can I get pressure on the opposite side? You know, I need to get more pressure if that is picked up. What can I do to go on ahead and, you know, be able to just get some more pressure? Because if that gets picked up, I don't want them to have 15 seconds in the pocket because he's on a contain. And once contains are actually blocked, they don't shed. Like, they will, they just don't unless you attempt to try to run outside the pocket and whatnot. Then you're going to go on ahead and get shed. But if the contain is actually blocked, he's just going to stay blocked. It's just not going to do anything. And he's not going to be able to create any pressure. And that's where the opposite end double or nothing comes into play because now that's like a ticking time bomb <laughs> if you pick it up on the opposite side if you pick up the looper you don't have much time to go on ahead and sit comfortably in that pocket you got to get rid of the ball you got to get rid of the ball quickly we're sending three i have acrobats i have mid zones i have different zones if i want to run man i can go to deep ko's there's a lot of different things i can do on defense and ladies and gentlemen Trust me when I say Unk ain't lying to you. You put the 335 odd on a deflation, and he is going to absolutely change the game for you. He is going to get the quarterback red, and from there on, they're not going to be able to run outside the pocket effectively. They're not going to be able to throw uh, passes effectively. It just changes everything. It could really change everything of a drive. I know whenever my guy is tired, my Lamar Jackson, when he's tired, I will literally sub in Matt Leinart just to hand the ball off to give him a breather for a play. Or I'll, I'll run Wildcat to take him out because it changes everything. I have roaming. I want to be able to roll outside the pocket. I want to be able to you know utilize his speed. And when he's tired, that's taken away from me. And it's just not the same. Pass velocity is not the same. Uh, take off when I want to run. It, it just completely changes everything about the offense. So go out there, have fun with it, mix in the coverages, get you an AJ Klein and get you a, a deflator out there and just start getting these quarterback reds and start changing drives.